So hi everyone, this is Dinesh Sharma. Welcomes you in the Sri T C H S uh, English Language and uh, Literature classes, and uh, under the banner of uh, YouTube channel, raise the bar with D S. In continuation of the topic of narration, indirect and direct, today we will discuss indirect narration in interrogative sentences. interrogative sentences so let's take let's look at the rules first in interrogative sentences we have two two types of interrogative First one is simple interrogative. Simple interrogative. And second one is special interrogative. Special interrogative. Interrogatives. So that's a. Uh, Let's define. Let's try to define the first one. Simple interrogatives, negative sentences begin with sentences begin with W H words. For example, what, where, why, who, when, whose, how, how many, how long, how much. Why? Okay, etc. How much? Etc. You can also insert include uh, which. Okay, and the uh, special interrogatives are interrogatives that begin with. Helping verbs. B type, do type, have type, and modal auxiliaries, modal auxiliaries. So uh, before we before we go further in uh, for, go further in interrogative sentences, let's file. We have discussed what interrogative sentence is, interrogative sentence is, and uh, how many types of interrogative sentences are there in English grammar. Okay, so there are two kinds. You know, you have seen that it's it's clearly shown on your screen that there are two types of interrogative sentences. One is simple interrogative that begin with W H words, and the second is. Uh, special interrogative sentences which begin with uh, which begin with uh, helping verb like is am or was or do does did have as had will shall would should can would may might etc. Now we will take uh, uh, now we will take uh, uh, indirect narration rules indirect narration rules first one reporting reporting verb changes into said said to uh, into asked demanded inquired 
etc. Okay. Reporting for changes into uh, said uh, connector uh, is decided, decided, decided as as per the type of interrogative sentence. Uh, as per the interrogative sentence, it means uh, it means uh, simple interrogative, simple interrogative takes the respective respective w h word as connector. Okay. And a special interrogative, a special interrogative takes takes if whether as connector. We're getting these points. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, if if the if the question in reported speech begins with wh word, we will have the same respective wh word as character. And if the question is is uh, you know is starting from a helping verb or or is it a, or it is a yes no type question, then we will have if or whether as character. If or whether as character. Yes, Okay, and let me change the font color as well. You know. So you have to be very much careful about the question type in the reported speech. Fine. The, the next point that we take is third after connector. The sentence structure becomes. Positive sentence structure. It means that we will not use interrogative structure. We after character we will use uh, positive sentence structure. So let me write. Let me try to write the structure of inter uh, interrogative here. You know, in direct narration. Subject plus verb plus object plus plus wh w h word or wh word or if whether if whether plus subject of reported speech plus Verb of reported speech plus uh, uh, object complement of reported speech. Sorry, now, now question full stop. Full stop will be there. Then we'll have a full stop. So this is the structure of you know uh, reported speech, interrogative sentence, or in, in the indirect is indirect sentence. The same tense will tense changes and pronounce changes and uh, and uh, adverb changes will remain same as told earlier. Okay. So so let's take some examples and then then we'll then we'll get some uh, more more clarity. You know, she said to me. How many hours in a day do you do you devote your time to study to study studies 
टाइम टू योर स्टडीज टू योर स्टडीज कर देते हैं सो टू योर स्टडीज ओके सो क्वेश्चन मार्क हाउ मेनी आवर्स इन अ डे डू यू डू यू डिवोट योर टाइम टू योर स्टडीज सो आईडीएन क्या होगा इसका हु विल ट्राई कल कोई करो शी सेड शी शी आस्क्ड मी How many hours? How many hours in a day I I I Come on somebody try I devoted to my my devoted to my devoted to my studies Uh, how many? How many? Uh, she asked me how many hours in a day I devoted to my studies. Is it right or wrong? Are you getting it or not? Okay. Let's let's say the next example. The teacher. No. Sir, वो दो दिन से मिस हो गया है ना सर पढ़ा नहीं. okay the teacher said to the to his pupils wait abhi me uh, i i get somebody to revise things for you no the teacher said to his pupils do you feel comfortable learning english online or should we arrange classes offline question mark yes who somebody try to uh, convert it into indirect this is helping your question the teacher asked his pupils if they if they felt comfortable learning okay so what are you doing fine why not why don't nitesh and nishant come to this file and start doing some practice Yes, sir. I mean, why do you wait for me to tell you uh, to do this? Yeah, you just automatically come on this file and solve these sentences. Yes. The teacher asked his pupils if they felt comfortable learning online or. learning english online online or uh they 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 should should arrange uh, uh, yes 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 all right good classes offline good okay good good sir good very good 
that was really you really you you uh, you have done it to a great extent to a great length you have done it. Now uh, let me let me take some more examples. Okay, 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 okay. He said to me. He said to me. Where do you live? He said to me, where do you live? Next question. Ah, okay, okay, good, good, good. Uh, uh, let me take my font as black. Nishant or Nitesh, are you doing something or you are just uh, uh, connected passively? Yeah. Do something, yeah. He said to me, What uh, are you doing? The judge asked the thief The judge asked the thief Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Young man, the young man asked her asked her, Can I help you? She said Shall we buy your father a present? He said, Shall I open the window? Please keep solving, please keep solving. He said to me, he said to me, will you listen to such a man? 
Nishant, are you doing? Nitesh, are you doing? No, sir. Why, Nitesh? Why are you doing? Let this topic is not taught. No, sir. This topic is not taught as a at the first time. To this time, yeah, they, they, we have, we have, I have already taught it you to you earlier. In, Yes, sir. Revise करना पड़ेगा ऐसे एक बार आपको सर. Before the break. Uh, so why don't you revise now? Why don't you try to solve? You are waiting for the right answer to come. Just solve it and and why are you afraid of making mistakes? Sir, 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 visible sir. Yeah, net sir, flow. Ah, yeah, Nishan, you, your side net problem is there. I, I agree with you. At your side, net yes, problem sir. is there. I agree. But Nitesh, don't be of scared of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Yes, sir. You know what we do in this in this practice. You know. Here, nobody is perfect. Which one? Which one? Last sentence. He asked me whether I would. I would listen to. Good, 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 good. If you are following the rule, Nishan, don't worry about whether you are right or wrong. Okay? okay. Everything is right when you are following the rule. Yes. Sir. Okay. So let me type yes. some more sentences. Fine. I asked the the I asked the fellow passenger passenger. Is the next train to arrive? Coming, are you coming? 
this evening. How are you coming this evening? To dine, to dine with me. check your uh, answers here you keep typing i am checking just i am just checking the answers keep typing okay she said to me how many hours in a day you do you devote to your studies she asked me how many hours in a day i devoted i devoted or oh, i devoted to my studies good do you feel the late the teacher said his pupils The teacher said his pupils, do you feel comfortable learning English online or should we arrange classes offline? The teacher asked his pupils if they felt comfortable learning English online or they should arrange classes offline. Good. The teacher asked his pupils if they felt comfortable learning English online or they should arrange classes offline. He said to me, where do you live? He asked me where I lived where I lived. Good. He said to me, what are you doing? I, he asked me what I was doing. Great. Good, 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 good. The judge asked the thief, why did you do it? The judge asked the thief, why he done it? Why he done it? Why he had done it? Why he had done it? The young man asked her, can I help you? The young man asked her whether he could uh, help her. Good, good. But whether ke saath, if laga ho, aap laga ke. Okay. Uh, she said, shall we buy your father a present? She asked if they should. Good, 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 very good. Buy a present for my, for my father. For my, okay, 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 okay. For my, not my, they, 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 it should be, you know, her father. Your. No, 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 fine, 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 fine. My father. He said, shall I open the window? He asked if I should open the window. Good. She said to me, did you come to my place yesterday? She asked me if I, if I had come, if I had come. Past simple will go in past perfect. She asked me if I had come to her place previous day, the previous day. He said to me, will you listen to such a man? He asked me whether, he asked me whether, Oblig if I would I would listen to such a man. Good. I asked the fellow passenger when is the next train due to arrive. I asked the fellow passenger when the next train when the next train when the next train was to arrive. Was to arrive. Was to arrive. Was to arrive. Great, good. He said to his mother, what do you want? Uh, he asked his mother, do this one, who is doing this? Uh, so Swarov is there, okay. He asked his mother, uh, what? What she wanted? What she wanted? Uh, you second person will change na. You will go as per the object of the reported speech, reporting speech. First person according to subject of the reporting speech. Okay, second yes. person according to object of the reporting speech. Yes, yes. The porter say asked. The porter asked. 
uh, which train uh, she has been uh, asked the lady you know the porter asked the lady which train she 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 uh she was taking she was taking nishan it will be she was taking yes sir simply you know the presence is for present continuous past continuous yes sir ramesh said to suresh are you coming this evening to dine with me ramesh asked suresh if if weather if weather oblique weather if weather he was coming that evening good good to dine with him good 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 so i hope uh, this uh, interrogative sentence has no doubt no sir because you have solved many ah, sentences yes sir yeah. you have solved so many sentences and you have solved correctly here yeah? there is no doubt in it but 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 now i want somebody to revise some previous or previous uh, previously taught uh, topics of this topic uh, uh, for nitesh so here i am stopping the recording up to now and uh, now somebody else will teach okay so thank you very much for uh, step bearing with me and uh, listen and uh, solving the sentences so now i would request uh, some of you to revise the topic uh, for the help of nitesh